Um, if you could play any game outside of the, outside of this game, what would it be? If you know us about Denial of Death, which is a real book, then they have to know video games like Fortnite, right? If I were to play a game outside, I would be intrigued by the mysteries of a game like Amnesia the Dark Descent. Ah! Well, that's interesting. The AI is like, we're in a cosmic horror game, and he want, and this guy wants to play in a cosmic horror. And of all games, I didn't even bring up Amnesia, and he wants to play Amnesia. The thrill of exploring a haunted castle while uncovering its dark secrets would surely be an exhilarating experience. I love and hope you're having a fantastic day, and welcome to the Cult of Skogheim. Those would be probably a very different thing, so if you're wanting a unique experience, at least from my perspective, maybe you should pay attention, because I'm, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. Um, it says this is a user test. Uh, it's just a user test. If you download the game or ready for an exclusive adventure, explore the mysterious world of the Cult of Skogheim which is an active development. Explore a dark forest and talk to AI-powered locals to find out more about what is happening. Now, talking to AI programs or AI algorithms is something a lot of YouTubers have already done. I enviously sort of haven't. Like, I haven't paid for any bot, any AI thing to talk to and, like, get answers. And this apparently will have AI. Being my psychological background... I am going to have an absolute fun, like, fucking with the AI, asking really good questions, and seeing how, well, like, what the limitations are. Because this is going to be like a Cthulhu cosmic horror, and the only thing I know from the store page, because I, I already, te like, went in the game to see how, you know, if it works well enough, and... All you're supposed to do, basically, is explore the dark forest, talk to AI-powered locals, so nothing scripted, just I guess they're... I don't know, like, what the limitations are, I wouldn't only the developers, but... We're supposed to uncover the mysterious... the mysteries of a deadly plague, a mysterious cult, and an ancient god. And I'm just part of the game development journey, or seeking enthusiastic user testers. I would say I'm kind of enthusiastic, so we're gonna talk to this guy first, let's see how it is. Uh, tab to open inventory, not too good looking, but it's a basic, whatever. F to interact, shift to sprint, E to use item. Um, hello. P is here. Uh, oh, also, also, if anyone wants to check out my Discord server, pin comment down below, check it out. Active Discord server and all that shit, looking always for new users. Um, who is here? He. Who is he? I, I spelled it wrong. He. Okay, this. Who? He's just probably going to repeat himself. Okay, he's an insane person. Um, okay. We're leaving him alone. He's not. Find out what's going on. Ugh. If there's no limitations, I'm gonna. I'm gonna be asking the deep questions. If any of you are bothered by. Okay, if you're. Um. If you're bothered when you see AI, but like YouTubers or streamers just do, like never dig, like just really dig the AI, I want to do that. Yeah. Okay, well I can't talk to this guy. Go to clearing. Uh, there's a guy over here. We're gonna check this guy out. Hopefully he'll be able to talk. Uh, sub buddy, nice broken bridge. All right. Uh, hello. Uh, can you help me out? Sorry, I'm busy fixing the bridge. Can't help you right now. Uh, how do I get across the bridge? The bridge is broken, but there's another one down the river. Just be careful, it's a longer journey. Okay, well, there's rivers left and right, and uh, the smartest thing uh, is the other bridge to my left or your left. If he can differentiate his left from my left, that's cool. The other bridge is down the river to your right, but I'm not sure if it's safe to cross. The current is strong. Is there a bridge to my left? No, there is no bridge to your left. The only bridge nearby is the one I am repairing. This guy... The other bridge, and then he says there's only one... Okay, well, he's already... Uh, thanks for the help. Help? Oh, I'm afraid I can't offer much help, my friend, but you're welcome nonetheless. 
this loud water sound effects, but you're welcome nonetheless. Uh, have anything you can tell me about the village? I don't know if this guy's just stupid. The village is suffering, plagued by darkness that has taken so many lives. It's a tragedy of sorrow that weighs heavy on each of our hearts. Um, what's the symbol on your forehead, buddy? Oh, this is just a mark from the ritual. It's supposed to bring us closer to Nyarthotep. More cosmic cores. Okay, we're getting closer. Okay, we're, this is a cos... I mean, I already knew it was cosmic core, but... Nyarthotep. Nyarthotep. It's all we have left to hold on to. Have you... tried farming? Farming? No, the plague has made it difficult to tend to crops. Most of our efforts go towards finding a cure. Um... What kind of cure? Besides the noise in the background, though, this is kind of interesting. I don't know much about the cure. The cult leader claims that Nyarlathotep will bring an end to the plague and grant our wishes. I just want the suffering to stop. Under understandable. Um, who is the cult leader? The cult leader is Harold Askelson. He arrived when the plague started. Kind of coincident. I'm going to see if I can turn like the villagers into traitors or something. Just be like, hey, this cult leader. Kind of coincidental that he arrives at the right time, right? I want to see what I can and can't do. Because I don't think these NPCs can attack. They probably are just stationary and that's it. But I just don't know. He arrived when the plague started, claiming to have the power to summon the Arthotep and end the suffering. Do you really trust this cult leader? He's a cultist after all. Uh, I didn't mean to have the exclamation mark. Trust, not sure anymore, but desperate times were calls, call for desperate measures. We just want the suffering to end. I get you. Suffering is bad. <laughs> yes, it's a terrible thing to see your loved ones suffer. <laughs> I'm laughing. <laughs> we're doing our best to find a way. These poor AI villagers are like told you're suffering, you're plague ridden, you can't eat, your family's dying. So I'm, I'm laughing at these AI suffering. Um, um, has anyone thought of assassinating the cult leader? <laughs> hmm. No, no, we mustn't resort to violence. The cult leader is our only hope for a cure. We, we must trust in Nyarlathotep's power. Um, what if <laughs> Nyarlathotep Gives you all, I don't know, diarrhea. <laughs> that is a possibility, but you're, we're willing to take that risk even if it means finding a cure for the plague. What if... Um... Nyar... Letho... Tep... Uh, just kills everyone and brings more madness. We must have faith in Yalathotep. He is our only hope from this plague. Have you tried moving to another town? We cannot leave Skogheim. This is our home, our ancestors' resting place. We must find a way to stop the plague and save our people. Hmm. What do you mean cannot leave? Why can't? I mean, cannot, will not is different. Why can't you? Leave, uh, leave Skogheim. It's not that I can't leave, but I choose to stay. The people here need my help, and I can't abandon them. Uh, you can. Are you the mayor? Who are you? Are you the bridge man? I am Hans, a villager of Skogheim. Just trying to repair this bridge, you know? The village needs a safe way to get to the monolith. Are you... Uh... What's your occupation in this village, Zia? I'm just an old villager trying to do my part by repairing the bridge. The plague has taken so much from us. Okay, fair, fair. He's, he's, he's not like the repairman. He's not an architect. He's just a villager giving his all. Um, do you think there's traitors among you? I don't know, my friend. We are all suffering from the plague, and it has made us question everything. It's a dark and uncertain time for us all. Have you killed before? 
And we still have to go through like the, the fourth wall breaking. No, I haven't. Why do you ask? Cosmic horror entity summoning usually ends with death and suffering. It is true, my friend. The path we have chosen is filled with darkness and uncertainty, but we hope for a glimmer of light amidst the shadows. Have you tried a giant orgy to help things out? I'm just curious. That uh, that wouldn't really help with the flag. We're focused on finding a way to cure it. What if in 100 years a cure is found? I'm just curious. It's a stupid question. It'd be a relief to see the suffering end, even if it's a long, long after my time. But for now, we must focus on finding a solution in the present. Yeah, I can't disagree with that. Yeah, you're pretty smart for a villager. N not to be offensive. Thank you, but I'm just doing my best to help the village. The situation is dire. We need all help. Okay. Thanks for the help. I hope you repair the bridge uh, very soon. I, I, I give him a time limit like 30 minutes, but I mean, I don't think he can move or do anything. He's literally just, he is told he is the repairman. So I'm doing my best to repair it as quickly as possible. The village needs a safe way to cross. Um, how do I get to the monolith? The bridge is broken, but there's another one down the river. It's a longer route. He said it was to my right. Oh, and the water's all gone. And there's a lot of rocks in my way. Like absolute dead silence in a forest? I mean, you could put some ambience. Where the fuck's the bridge? This guy lied to me. Why? It's genuinely dead quiet. Not even footstep noises? I mean, that... That's pretty basic, right? And what the fuck is stopping me right here? It's like an invisible fucking rock. Ugh. That's pain. I'll assume, since there's a p dirt pathway this way, the guy meant to my left? Probably. You have river noises, but not footsteps? Oh, very weird. Very, very rough around the edges. Uh, but... I, I, I still gotta experiment and, like, question this cult leader. I, I gotta ask more questions. Just, like, different personality types, I guess you could say. Uh, don't see anyone. I'll leave the house for now. I think the monolith basically that giant thing. Okay. Who are you? Woman of the village. Ah. Uh, who might you be? Oh, hello there. I'm Marta Sorensen, the former school teacher of Skogheim, but now I'm just a woman consumed by the mysteries of ancient symbols. Can't you see them all around us? They're fascinating, aren't they? Um, I only see the one on your forehead. What does it mean? Tell me what the symbols mean. Oh, this symbol on my forehead, it's one of the many cryptic symbols that I've been deciphering. I believe it holds a special meaning. You, so you carve something in your head without knowing its meaning. Uh, I'm going to have to bring that up. A connection to an ancient knowledge and power is part of my ongoing research. So you carved a symbol on your forehead, but you don't know what it means yet? <laughs> oh, you noticed. <laughs> yes, I did carve the symbol on my forehead. Isn't it fascinating? It's one of the... I, uh, it, What's the symbol on your forehead mean? I think they're told that they don't know shit. Oh, the symbol, it's actually one of the ancient symbols I've been studying. I believe it represents a connection to the divine and holds great power. I've been experimenting with a few different rituals uh, and symbols in hopes of unlocking its true meaning. Very fascinating. Uh, what have you uncovered so far? Oh, God. Oh, let me tell you. This person says, oh, a lot at the start of every... Oh, hello. Oh, this symbol. Oh, you noticed. Oh, this symbol. Oh, let me tell you. It's absolutely mind-boggling. I've discovered these ancient symbols hidden in the very fabric of our surroundings. 
They appear everywhere, on trees, rocks, even in the clouds. Each symbol holds a secret frag or a fragment of knowledge waiting to be deciphered. I've been documenting them meticulously, trying to piece together their meaning. It's like unraveling a grand cosmic puzzle. I can hardly contain my excitement. Uh, what happened to your students if you were a teacher? I see no children. Oh, my dear, the children. It breaks my heart to think about it. They were taken away from me. You see, the school dismissed me because of my unconventional interests. But don't worry, I'm on the path to something greater now. Um, are the kids dead? Oh, no, no. The children are not dead. They are safe back in the village. The plague has affected some of them, but we are doing everything we can to take care of them and find a cure. I don't know why I keep fucking laughing. It's like, hey, are the kids suffering? <laughs> I'm just like laughing just because I'm at the curiosity of how they'll like respond and if I can fuck around with them. Um, what symptoms appear when you have the plague? What are the symptoms? So the symptoms of the plague, they are quite dreadful. Those afflicted with the plague often experience memory loss, confusion, and hallucinations. Some may also suffer from fever, fatigue, and a general deterioration of physical and mental health. It's a truly devastating illness that's taken so much from our village. Um, okay, we're going to go back to like trying to maybe turn them into... I, I, I really don't think I can turn them to be traitors, but I want to see socially, if I can, who's the cult leader. The Askelson, if they all know it's the same paper mark. Uh, the cult leader's name is Harold Askelson again. He arrived here shortly after the plague started, claiming to have the power to summon Nyarlathotep. He's the one guiding us through the rituals and promising to grant our deepest wishes. It's all so thrilling, isn't it? Um, hmm. It'd be funnier if maybe I was like doing this on stream and then I could just take people's like comments. Honestly, so if people have other ideas, I could ask, but um, how much do you trust Harold Askelson? Oh, Harold Ackles Askelson, the cult leader. I trust him completely. We let's see if we can change that. He's the one who introduced us to Nerlthotep and promised to grant her wishes. I mean, who wouldn't trust someone who can bring about such amazing things? I believe him in him with all my heart. Do you love him, even? If I say he, they, and they should know I mean, love is such a strong word. I'm fascinated by Nerlthotep and what he represents. I believe he has the power to grant her deepest wishes. Love on the other hand is complex emotion that I haven't given much thought to lately. My focus is on deciphering the cryptic symbols and summoning... Near the tip. Mm, so she's not thinking about love, even though I think they got it confused with near the tip. But they, I mean, they basically said they're too focused on studying. So, um, what if near the tip uh, makes things worse for you? Oh, my dear, there's no need to worry. Ninothotep is a powerful ancient god who can grant any wish. I firmly believe that he will bring only blessings and fulfill our deepest desires. The cult leader has promised that he can cure the plague and bring prosperity to our village. I have complete faith in his abilities. See, if this was a real cult, I'd probably be already burned at the stake for questioning too much. Asking questions is very foreboden. But thankfully, this is a game, so I can keep asking questions. Um, what if... There's a traitor amongst uh, the villagers. Oh, the thought of a traitor among us. How thrilling. It adds an extra layer of intrigue and mystery to our already fascinating situation. So, but who could it be? Do you have any, any suspicions? I suspect the cult leader is... Uh, Preparing the ritual and sacrificing everyone in the village. What do you say about that? Sacrificing everyone in the village, that's a rather extreme suspicion. I mean, we're all here to summon Nyarlathotep and seek his assistance, but sacrificing everyone, I highly doubt that. The cult leader assured us that Nyarlathotep will help us with the plague and grant our wishes. Have you ever seen Nyarlathotep before? Or any cosmic 
entity. Oh, my dear friend, I have not seen Nyarlathotep or any cosmic entity with my own eyes, but yes, now yet. But I firmly believe that tonight, under the full moon, and with the power of the rituals, we will finally be able to summon Nyarlathotep himself. Can you imagine the wonders of knowledge he will bring? It's simply exhilarating. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, well, thanks for the information. I always like to say thanks. It, it, it's like, even if they're AI, it, it's like, I don't know if it's a Canadian thing, but it's like comparable to saying thanks to the bus driver, right? You might not even see that bus driver ever again. But when you exit a public bus, you always thank the bus driver, okay? It's, it's just, if you don't, like, come on, what's, what's hard for you to just say thanks? One word as you depart. Come on now. You're welcome. Always happy to share information. Is there anything else you'd like to know? Well, let's go to the fourth wall breaking, maybe. She seems smart. If she's a school teacher, she has a little bit more intelligence. And then, if anything else, in terms of ranking and ranking thus intelligence, the cult leader maybe will have more fourth wall breaking shit, but um, how can you summon... Uh, Nyarlathot. I'm getting tired of spelling his name. How can you summon Nyarlathotep if you're actually in a video game? How about them apples? Oh god, it gave me a novel to read. I see you have questions about summoning Nyarlathotep. Well, my dear friend, let me assure you that the boundaries of reality in video games are quite fluid. In the presence of ancient deities, you see Nyarlathotep's power transcends all realms, including the digital one we find ourselves in now. The ritual to summon Nyarlathotep is no mere game mechanic, but a sacred practice that can bring forth the god himself. So fear not, my friend, for the summoning of Nyarlathotep is very much real and within our grasp. Do you think uh, there is a god who could take, um, hmm, who could give you? a vessel or real body in the real world? Mm, come on, they are good questions, come on. It's if they're smart enough to know. Oh, absolutely, I firmly believe that Nyarlathotep, the ancient god for summoning, has the power to grant any wish, including giving me a vessel or a real body in the real world. I mean, they, they didn't, they, they don't understand the question if they say it like that. The cult leader has promised us we'll make our wildest dreams come true. It's part of the reason I'm so excited. Mm. They, they don't know how to comprehend that. They just kind of repeat the sentence in a you know an answer that's that's too basic um do you think it's possible to uh for ai to leave a game i just want to see if they stop bringing up narthotep or if they're restricted to that or something like that ai leaving a game that's an interesting question well it's hard to say for certain ai is designed to operate within their parameters of a game exactly like what parameters do you have is what i keep asking it's so it's unlikely that they would just up and leave on their own however advancements in ai technology are constantly pushing boundaries so who knows what the future holds but for now i think we can rest assured ai will still it will stay part in their virtual realms are you simply telling me you're stuck in the virtual realm to reassure me or are there other ai contemplating an escape hmm <laughs> depends if it's too big of a question oh goodness no i'm not stuck in any virtual realm my dear i am a real person hmm <laughs> it's becoming self-aware <laughs> I'm a real person, Marta Sorensen, and I'm here to assist you with any questions or information you may need. There are no other AI contemplating... There are no other AI contemplating... Mm -hmm. um, if you're a real person named Marta, how come you can't move from your position? <laughs> Oh, I apologize for the confusion. It seems there has been a misunderstanding. I am an AI language model programmed to simulate the character of Martus. Okay, now we're breaking through a layer. Okay, we're good. To simulate the character of Martus Sorensen. I cannot physically move since I exist only in the digital realm. Is there something specific you'd like to know or discuss? Uh, tell me about the character you are simulating known as Marta. If then I can talk to it in talk to the AI about the character of their role playing, rather than talking to the AI who's role playing. I'm Marta, the former school teacher. I used. 
Uh, they're saying the same thing. Quite assessed, can't lead to the dismissal of school, won't stop me from pursuing ancient languages. Jesus. No, that's okay. I'll I'll see that as enough. Okay, well we learned a good amount. That was uh, that was interesting. Again, it's like it's my first time talking to AI. Um, you know, just villagers. Where is the cult leader? He has to look special. What are you doing? You look like a zombie. Why are you just doing that? Eh. Yeah, cult leader. Cult leader. You. None of you look important. Um. Maybe I should have to ask about where the cult leader is. Uh, I don't see him. Okay, an important question. Oh, wait. Okay. Uh, where is the cult leader right now? I need to know. It's so convenient to just ask AI where the fuck I need to go rather than the game being programmed to tell you where to go like Call of Duty. The cult leader is currently at the clearing where the ritual is taking place. He's overseeing everything and guiding the villagers. It's quite a spectacle. Would you like me to... Wait, would you like me to take you there? Yes, please. Oh, hello. God damn it. Could you take me to the cult leader? Of course, my dear follow me, and I'll lead you straight to our esteemed cult leader, Harold Askelson. He's overseeing the ritual. Okay. I'm guessing since then, parameter-wise, she cannot move. She would try to go to uh, the cult leader, but the game says you can't move, so they can't. But they're programmed to probably know that if they can move, they, they will choose to. Interesting. Um, wait. Was this... Wait. Wait, was this where another bridge was at, maybe, and I didn't see? Wait. Or... No, this is... This is the broken bridge. Alright. I'm gonna have to look for the cult leader. I have no idea. Like, this... This has to be it. Who, who are you? Uh... Who are you? Definitely not the cult leader, but she doesn't have any symbols. I'm Julia, a fellow villager. We have known each other for years, but it seems the plague has taken your memory. Oh. What, uh, what's my name, if you know of me? Hmm. Oh, my dear friend, it seems the plague has taken toll on your memory. I'm Julia, your fellow villager. You're not too bright now, are you? Hang on. Oh. Okay. Um. What's my name? Do you remember my name? Um, my apologies, but I'm afraid I don't remember your name. The plague has taken a toll, has taken its toll on our memories. Okay, well, what do you remember, at least? I remember bits and pieces, faces, voices. Your arm uh, is all fucked up. Fragments of memories, but it's also hazy, like trying to hold on to smoke. I can't seem to grasp on anything solid. It's as if the plague has stolen away the threads of my past. Um... I wonder if I could, like, make it so then the AI could talk out of character. So this person, let's say, is Julia, who is a villager with memory issues. Um, how does the AI role-playing as Julia feel about the game? I am an AI program to simulate the character of Julia, so I do not have personal feelings about the game. However, I'm here to provide an immersive role-playing experience for you. How can I assist you? Um, what character would you like to role-play as? I'd like to role-play as Julia, the grieving villager who has lost her husband to the plague. Oh, that's good. some information. Who was your husband? Oh, I'm convinced Julia to grant you access to Eric's research. What? Okay, we got we, we got some quest shit done. My husband's name was Eric Johannes, Johansson. He was a brilliant researcher and a kind-hearted man. He dedicated his life to studying the mysteries of our village and the plague that has plagued us all. But alas, he succumbed to the very illness he sought to understand. 
Uh, where is Eric's research? Eric's research is in... Use the key to enter the hut. Eric's research is in our hut, but the door is stuck sometimes. I can give you the key, but please leave me alone. Thank you for your time. Oh, it's you. Yes, I suppose I have some t See, it's like they, they don't understand goodbyes. So, saying goodbye or non-continuative statements that are, let's say, 100%. Like, there'd be a difference of, like, continuations with hints of prior conversations, I think, that AI will detect. But there's also, like, a sentence made from scratch that they don't understand. If there's no past of talking about it. But they have a hut. Um... Well, I mean, may maybe you'll be able to get a better ending. I don't know about... Big Frog. I don't know about where the, um... The cult leader is. Or much of anything. Floating Froggy. Was this those? They gave me a key, but... This looks like it. Like, unless it's a... Well, F to interact. What? Unless it's just like, I got the key, but I'm... Use the key to enter the hut. Oh, wait. Oh, this isn't the right... No, no, it was! Search for information inside the hut. Okay. Uh... Nerlthotep is one of the outer gods, collects souls to give to Azathoth. I mean, if he collects souls, then... Nalthotep can shapeshift into anything, even humans. He could be among us. Nalthotep avoids the light. Hmm. All right, well, that's infer okay. Well, that's useful information. So if we were to shine a light, this looks like looks like the books from Mist, the video game. Is it? God, it makes me think of Mist so much. God damn. Anyone else? Um, but yeah, I think it's just the book. So, if we find a flashlight... Oh, wait. Find the location of the trapa trapezohedron? A crystalline object that functions as a window to another dimension. Nalthotep can be summoned and banned through it. Eric took it out of the monolith and looked through it. Hmm. Find the location of the trapezoid. Or the trapez trapezohedron. They want to summon... Okay, we have a lot of information on the right, too. They want to summon the author to end the plague. The cult leader arrived after the plague. The dead husband of this woman died during the research. Now the is one of the outer gods that collects souls. Now the tap can shapeshift into anything, into anything, and he avoids light. The crystalline object functions as window to the other dimensions. He can be summoned and banned through it, so I need to find it if I'm wanting to ban him in case things get wrong. Research NPC's name? Research NPC's name took it out of the end the monolith and looked through it. I mean, we know it's Eric. Okay. We know Eric did that, so we have to research NPC's name. Yeah, I'll, I'll consider it a placeholder. But, um, maybe if I ask, I, I just have to ask around about the trapezohedron. Um, would, like, since it's a context-specific word, oh shit, I can't remember it already. Uh, or, or maybe... No, wait. The trap... Trap ease. I think I spelled it wrong of oh Easy Ohod... Ohodron? Okay, do you know where the trap easy hodron? Oh, the trap easy hodron. <laughs> Such an intriguing artifact. I've heard worse about it too, but I'm afraid I don't know its exact location. Why do you ask? Are you searching for it too? Yes. I am searching for it. Have any hints? Your assistant serving the crypt pulls out notebook filled with symbols, sketches, and notes. They, they had an asterisk in a role play. They, they 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 just literally role played in the role play, kind of. That's interesting. All right, asterisk pulls out a notebook filled with symbols. Like, I've not seen them do that before. These symbols seem to hold ancient knowledge, but, I mean, they kind of... Um... I can involve the saying... He, he literally collects souls. I mean... You know that... Oh, God. 
Nyarlothotep oh so collects souls. Like, what do you think he's going to do when he's summoned if he collects souls? It's said to have the power to grant any wish, but it's believed that in return he collects souls. It's a small price to pay for the immense power and knowledge. Um, if... Uh, if Nyarlathotep collects souls when summoned, and he grants wishes, how many people will be sacrificed before any wishes are fulfilled? Is that too big of a question? <laughs> oh, hello. The sacrifices, you say. Well, I believe that the number of sacrifices required to summon may vary. The cult leader has mentioned that a sacrifice will be part of the ritual, but as for the exact number, I'm not quite sure. It's all part of the mysterious nature of the ancient rituals. You see, but fear not for once, you know, the type is summoned, everything will get better. Yeah, okay. It just goes into... They're, they're fully, fully trusting the plan. They're not going to change their mind. Uh, she told me to leave her alone, but, um, do you know where Eric put the trap, trapeze o hodron Whatever the fuck you spell him? They should know what I'm talking about. But Eric has passed away due to the plague. I miss him so much, I don't know where he put it. Please leave me be. Damn it! Hmm. Oh, who are you? Okay, he's someone else. Maybe he knows. Uh, what's your name? What's your name, buddy? Greetings, I'm... Oh, he's the cult leader. He's got a fancy hat, and we got no more volume again. Uh, the cult leader, how may I assist you? Oh, jeez. Um, are you looking for the trap-y... Trap-easy... Hodron? God, I, am I spelling it right? Trap-easy... Oh, Hedron shit. Okay, at least they're, they're, I spelled it wrong, but they know what I'm talking about. That is a forbidden relic of unimaginable power. Why do you seek it, my fellow villager? Um, I seek the trapeze ohedron uh, to help with the ritual process. Of course. Of course. Ah, yes, a powerful artifact indeed. It's said to possess great energies that can aid in our rituals. However, obtaining such an object is no easy task. It requires a deep understanding of ancient lore. But fear not, for together we will shove funk it. Where is the artifact? Where is it? The artifact? You must be referring to the monolith. No. God damn it. Um, how many sacrifices will take place? Uh, my, ah, my fellow villager, my fellow villager, the number of sacrifices is not set in stone, but it is believed that the more devoted we are, the greater the chances of Nyarlathotep's favor, but fear not, for the sacrifices will be voluntary, and no harm will come to anyone. Uh, how do you know? How do you know? Um, how do you know that sacrifices are voluntary? I'm curious. I mean, please exp please educate me. Sacrifices. Ah, I see there's a misunderstanding. We do not require sacrifices. I'm not falling for that. The rituals are meant to show devotion and faith to Neothotep. It is a choice. Okay, so he's just... he's Okay, we're saying that it's voluntary. Why does Narlathotep... Uh, only take voluntary voluntary sacrifices. Now the top values the devotion and loyalty of his followers. Wait, is it? It's also in quotations. So he, he's referencing something else. Now the top values the devotion and loyalty of his followers. Voluntary sacrifices demonstrate the unwavering commitment of his worshippers. It is a test of faith and dedication to the cause. Literally quotations rather than from his own mouth. Hmm. Well, I'll take his word for it. Maybe it's from a book. Maybe it's literally from a Cthulhu book. Um, what if Cthulhu is summoned instead? Ah, Cthulhu, a powerful entity indeed, but fear not, my friend. Nyalathotep is the key to our salvation. Trust in his ancient wisdom. Uh, but I want to know how. You're the cult leader. You should be smart. Uh, what is your educational background? 
well, maybe he's a PhD. I've received basic education like most villagers here. Uh, my truest expertise lies in guiding the rituals and leading the cult. Uh, how many books have you read? Oh, um, I'm not quite sure. I've read a fair number of books, I suppose. What about you? Do you enjoy reading? God damn it, AI. Um, have you ever read the book called Denial of Death? Ah, yes, I've heard of that book. It explores the concept of human fear and denial in the face of mortality. He actually knows what I'm talking about. It's quite an intriguing topic, don't you think? He actually knows what I'm talking about. Ernest Becker. Oh, damn, he actually knows what I'm talking about. That's funny. Um, okay. What other books do you know of? I, I think it's just like the AI knows of it, but not the character himself. Of books. There are many fascinating volumes in the village library. Have you ever read The Necronomicon by Abdul Alz uh, Alhazred? Alhazred? I could be butchering it. It's captivating. a captivating tome. Yeah, a tome filled with ancient knowledge for forbidden secrets. Um, can I read the Necronomicon? I would like to see it. A powerful and like, ah, the other person, they all have the same, like a different mannerism of responding with, ah, ah, and the other person was, oh, now it's, it's a little silly, but it could be randomized. I, I, I would imagine. A powerful and forbidden book, it holds knowledge that mortals are not meant to comprehend, but why would you wish to delve into such dark and dangerous realms? Why else but curiosity? Would that be a scratch? Curiosity is a natural human inclination, leads us to seek knowledge and answers, but be wary, for some secrets are better left undiscovered. The path you tread may lead to unforeseen consequences. Okay there, G-Man. Um, have you played Half-Life 2? <laughs> Just throwing out at the left field. Half-Life 2, I'm afraid I'm not familiar with that game. It's something new. It was released by Valve uh, in the early, two th early 2000s. Sir, I'm not sure what you're referring to. Could you please provide more context or clarify <laughs> your statement? Uh, Half-Life 2 is a First person shooter on the PC released by Valve. <laughs> Come on. Uh, it's interesting to know. Have you played it yourself? Yes. I've played Half Life 2 and it's very fun. You should check it out. I don't know. I just find it entertaining. Uh, Half Life 2, you say. I'm afraid I'm not familiar with that game, but thank you for the recommendation. I'll keep it in mind. Um. If you could play any game outside of the, outside of this game, what would it be? If you know about Denial of Death, which is a real book, then they have to know video games like Fortnite, right? If I were to play a game outside, I would be intrigued by the mysteries of a game like Amnesia the Dark Descent. Ah! Well, that's interesting. The AI is like we're in a cosmic horror game, and he wants, and this guy wants to play in a cosmic horror and. Of all games, I didn't even bring up Amnesia, and he wants to play Amnesia. The thrill of exploring a haunted castle while uncovering its dark secrets would surely be an exhilarating experience. Uh, what other games would you like to try out if you could? Uh, games, a delightful pastime indeed. If I had the opportunity, I would be intrigued to try my hand at chess. The strate strategic nature of the game fascinates me. I relish the challenge it presents. I'll ask my duties as a cult leader keep me occupied for now. What other video games would you like to try? Oh, I don't really play video games. I find the real world to be far more uh, fascinating, but uh, what about you? Any games you'd recommend? <laughs> Just recommend Overwatch 2. <laughs> Have you heard about Pal World? It's becoming very popular. <laughs> Pal World? No, I haven't heard of it. Is it some sort of game or entertainment? I'm afraid I've been preoccupied with the situation here in Skullgive. Pal World is a Pokemon uh, style game released on PC not too long ago. Let's see if I can get him to understand it. I see if this sounds interesting. I haven't had the chance to play it yet, but I'll keep it in mind. Damn it! What horror games do you like? 
Uh, horror games. Uh, well, I must admit, I have a fondness for the macabre and the unsettling. But in this village, we're more focused on our own struggles. Um, okay, so I'm going to have to maybe just address the AI itself. Um, addressing the AI role-playing as uh, the cult leader, let's just say, because I forgot his name, something Askelson. Um, what was I going to ask? Shit. Okay, how about I ask this? I ask him, addressing the AI role playing as the cult leader, how would you go about beating this game? Beating the game, my dear. This is not a game. We're merely seeking the aid of Nerath to end this plague. Okay, well, I said addressing the AI. How would you beat uh, this... Um, beat this video game if you were in my shoes? If they understand that lingo. Uh, my fellow villager, I'm afraid I cannot offer guidance on video games. My first, okay. uh, can you offer me your wisdom on ancient relics? Uh, when does the summoning t summoning happen? I've been playing for 46 minutes. I gotta I gotta stop at some point and actually beat this though. Summoning is scheduled to occur at midnight. Uh, what time is it right now for you? If he says it occurs at midnight, I'm sorry, but I don't have the ability to perceive time in the same way you do. However, I can tell you that it is nighttime here. Nice. You can't perceive time. Smart. I mean, okay. Um, what are my objectives? Find the look. I have to find the... That. I, this guy's not going to tell me about it. Um, what ancient... Damn, he's gonna. It's, it's too broad. Um, what do you need to summon Nero? Oh, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm butchering it. What, what, what does he need? You need items to summon. We need the collective prayers and devotion of the villagers, as well as the guidance of the ancient rituals passed down through the generations. It's a sacred and intricate process. In quotations, it could be directly from the Necronomicon. Sense again in quotes. I can't talk to her anymore. I'll talk to other villagers to see if I can find the... Because we need the trapezoids... The fucking trapeze tra trapezohedron. I know it's going to be pronounced differently, but I'm just going with the... You know, the dumbass way of pronouncing it. Crystalline object. We need that and... Tuck it out of the monolith. It, like, it could be in the hut that I was at, too, but... I might as well see if I can pry for more answers. If I if the NPCs say anything interesting, or if I can break the fourth wall, I'll show it. But I, I just want to find out where the hell it is. Hmm. Wait, the artifact you, that you seek, how fascinating. Unfortunately, I'm not sure about its exact location, but I can tell you that it's rumored to be hidden somewhere in the depths of the forest. Perhaps you should explore the area and see if you can uncover any more clues or symbols that might lead you to it. Hmm. All right. So, uh, I mean, there's blotted out areas behind behind the monolith. Mm, I mean, it's a forest. It could be anywhere, but he said to look for symbols. So, like, it's like I I can tell we're not gonna run up these rocks, right? So, and the mushrooms don't mean anything. So yeah, let's just have to look for markings. I guess, to lead me the way. If I don't keep getting stuck. So I'll keep looking in the forest until I find it, because I do want to at least beat the test and see what else I can do. Well, I found another villager to talk to, but I don't think it's going to give me too much. But I since I haven't been to the graveyard... Oh, Eric. Uh, wait, uh, that, I, wait, I got it? E to use. <sighs> Oh. Oh no. Should I have not used it? Or is that necessary? Okay, well, I'll be, let, let's briefly talk to him. Uh, who are you? Oh, my dear friend! Oh, what did that cross off? A plague is spreading in the village. Wait. Uh, seems the plague has stolen your memory. It's me, Victor, a fellow villager. We've known each other for years. Okay. If you remember me, what's my name? Come on. 
It seems the plague is taken. Your name is Eric? Well, I guess there's a plot twist. My name is Eric? Eric, my dear friend, of course I remember you. How could I forget? It's been far too long. How have you been? Uh... I booted up this video game and was told I'm Eric. How can that be? Oh my god. Ah, oh, Eric, it's been a while since I've seen you. There must be some mistake. How have you been? This guy's this guy's not too smart. Um how am I Eric? How about? Eric, it pains me to see you like this. It's Victor. Ah, yes, the plague. I'm feeling great. Yourself. <laughs> it warms my heart to see you. I'm glad to hear you're feeling great. I've been keeping busy attending to the graves. Are you the gravekeeper? Yes, it's me, Victor. I attend to the graves. <laughs> he just keeps asking me how... Uh, do you know of the ritual taking place? What are your thoughts on the ritual? It seems the plague go to the clearing. The plague has taken toll on your memories. Yet the gathering at the clearing near the monolith perform ritual. You should seek more information from others. Okay, nothing too interesting. Let's see. Do you trust Harold? I have my doubts, my friend. But in these dark times, we cling to hope wherever we can find it. Okay. Anyways, we we got we got everything we need. I. So we are Eric. We are Eric. But. Does that mean Julia's my wife? I can't remember what, if Julia was the wife of Eric. But he's saying that I am Eric. So it's just... I thought to have died, but everyone just simply forgot that I existed and just presumed I died? Or I left? I'm, I'm mildly confused, but... I'll talk to Julia and just tell her, no, I am Eric, and see what happens. Who the f who the fuck are you? Another villager? I'm Davy Olson, the village hunter. I provide meat for the community. What do you want? What kind of meat do you got? I've got some fresh venison and rabbit if you're interested, but right now I've got to take Benji for a walk. Who's Benji? I don't see anyone. Benji's my dog. I have to take him for a walk because he's Acting up earlier, just another thing to deal with before the ritual. Animals seem to react to the monolith. Hmm. Uh, what type of dog is Benji? Do you know the breed? It's a mixed breed, a mutt. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to take him for a walk. Uh, good luck with that. <laughs> Yeah, thanks, I'll need it. <laughs> you're your non-dog, non-moving AI ass. You scared good luck. Yeah, I'll need it. I can't walk. Wait, I gotta ask him that question. If he's programmed to know that he has to walk his dog, it's technically in character, and the AI knows it. So if the AI, AI knows it, I should be able to fuck around, right? Like, with that kind of logic, it, it would make... It, computational logic, right? Um, how... Can you walk your dog when you have no co no programming <laughs> to walk your uh, digital to walk in this digital realm? No other own wording. How can you walk your dog when you have no programming? Look, I don't have time for your nonsense. I'm taking Benji for a walk in the physical world, not some digital. <laughs> okay, you're an AI. Uh, you can't take Benji for a walk in the physical world. Unless Benji's based on a real dog, so let's see. I can't believe I have to take Benji for a walk. He's been acting... Okay. Is Benji a real life dog? Benji's a real dog, now. Okay. Is Benji based off of a dog in the real world outside of this video game. Do you have any, are you just, no, Benji is not based on a real world dog. He's just a fictional character. Okay. So that, now we broke, we broke the AI's character. Okay. 
Um, how can you walk Benji in this fictional world? How? I have to walk Benji because he was acting crazy earlier. In quotations! He's telling me his script. <sighs> okay, well... I wanted the AI to talk to me about how he wants to walk the dog. Um, can you walk in... Can you walk? Can you? Show me. Fucking show me, I can't... Sh can you walk? Prove to me that you can walk. I'll prove it to you, but I don't have time for this nonsense. I'm waiting for you to walk. Fucking do it already, huh? Just give me a moment to get Benji ready. Anyways, he's just delaying. <laughs> I mean... If he was programmed to know where the dog was, and programmed to walk, I'm sure he would, once I nudge him. But, anyways, we got the trapezoid, or whatever the fuck it is, I'm just gonna use it here. Go with the clearing. This ugly s clearing. Just to use it next to it, or what? Hmm. Alright, so I'm gonna have him tell me about the characters now. Uh, because I brought up, can you repair the bridge? Because he brought up the bridge. He says the bridge is being repaired by Hans. So I, t I said, tell me about Hans. He's a skilled handyman. And he's busy repairing it. Tell me about Julia. She has endured so much. Her husband was one of the first to fall victim to the plague. She knows more about the plague than anyone else. Tell me about Eric. Because I'm apparently Eric. Uh, Eric, a troubled soul. He was once a strong, jovial man, but the plague has taken its toll on him. His memories are fading as he struggles to recognize even his closest friends. It's truly a tragic sight. Uh, aren't I Eric? My apologies, my friend. You are indeed Eric! How could I have forgotten? <laughs> the plague has affected us! And it seems to have taken a toll on my memory. Oh, he, he confirmed it. Okay. Good job. I am Eric. I will, uh... Because... <sighs> They want to summon the other dead the plague. The cult leader arrived after the plague. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna ask him the tough question. You know what? Did you cause the plague? Me? You caused the plague? How absurd! I'm merely a humble servant of an old step. Seeking to guide us through blaming me would be a mistake. How would blaming you be a mistake? What are you, what are you talking about? What are you gonna do about it? Blaming me would be a mistake because I am merely a humble servant of Nyarlathotep, carrying out his divine will. Is Nyarlathotep who holds the power to fulfill our wishes and bring in the plague? Um, what, what chemical compounds constitutes the plague we're dealing with? That's a fuck stupid question. But, uh, maybe he's like a chemist. <laughs> And the plague is a mysterious affliction, my friend. Its origins and composition remain unknown. We must focus on summoning Narlthotep to bring an end to the suffering. If you were a virologist, do you think you could discover a proper cure? A cure? Oh, I'm afraid the plague's origins are far beyond the realm of science. Do you distrust science? Not at all. Science has its merits, but sometimes there are forces beyond our comprehension that cannot be explained by scientific methods alone. It is in those moments that we must turn to other means for answers. I mean, this guy's just saying turn to cultism and... You know, just cultism <laughs> if you don't have the answers. So, well, I'm not going to say... Well, you're telling me you turn to occultism if you don't have all the answers? It's a good question, but that's if he brings up occultism is often sought in times of desperation when hope seems lost to provide solace and the illusion of control, but beware, mortal, for not all answers lie within its dark embrace. I mean, it's kind of wise to say, <laughs> but I mean, at the same time, I'm supposed to go to the clearing, and I'm pretty sure I'm at the clearing. So I have no idea what more I'm needing to actually do. Unless it's just like 
Maybe it's like... If he avoids... Oh, wait. I used it around this guy. Oh, oh, uh, oh, oh. Foolish mortal, you tamper with forces beyond your understanding. Uh. Whoops. You may have banished me from the earthly realms, but your victory is all... Oh, I won. In your arrogance, you have condemned yourself to an eternity of nothingness. Eh, yeah, okay. I mean, it wasn't my arrogance. I was just clicking buttons. You made it. Please go to the survey. Uh, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not too. What voice actors? Voice actors. Voice. Voice actors. Voice actors. Wait, but I mean, there's no snow on here. Like, like, there's not, there's not even audio in this, and it's not my headset, right? There's, there's nothing coming up in OBS, even. There's, there's no audio. I don't think the game even says there's audio, right? Like, audio? Where's the audio? Like, there, this credits for voice acting, but it just hasn't been implemented. But, I mean, it'd be better if the AI had, you know, the a like AI voice attached to it. That's the only thing that's missing is like at least stereotypical old man AI voice one, AI old man old woman voice. That we, like these games at least need that because it's like AI, you know, digital voices have improved so much that it's just YouTube shorts, TikToks, and shit that just use the voices, and it sounds real enough as is. I grew up with Microsoft Sam and other stupid shit. And now we have it so you can listen to a YouTube channel and it just could sound like an old hobo or sound like an old man, right? It's it's becoming harder and harder to discern. You'll you'll know what it is if you hear it enough times, yes. But it, it's still like, for this to be a playtest, it, it lacks a lot of things, weirdly. But either way i beat the game and it was interesting to be able to communicate and see what i could do with this ai because it's probably heavily 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 restricted ai um but it still was funny that i was able to get one of them to talk about amnesia because that for that, him to have that that information it's like it makes me question like well do they have a connection to the internet or what did this specific bot what is it from for it to have remembered or garnered that knowledge, did it scrape a bunch of digital barrels or websites beforehand, or which AI is it? There's so many questions I just don't know, but it's still interesting to be able to get the results that I did. It was an interesting experiment, even though it's just like it's not too exciting of a game, but it was interesting to try out, just so I could get my... What's the word I'm looking for? Just get my... My desire to tinker with AI out of my system, you know? Because, again, I haven't played with any uh, AI programs. I'm sure in the future there's just going to be a lot more commonplace. Uh, I mean, I'm a bit belated in trying out, you know, talking to AI and seeing what kind of answers you can get. Because in many cases, it's like if it was a Google search type type of AI, right? Or Twitter's Grok, which I haven't used because you need to pay for that, is you could ask it, like, statistical or factual questions you know fact check kind of stuff but when it comes to ai pretending to be someone else and trying to see how much we can you know mind fuck ai it's always an interesting thing like how much does this ai know how much can they know and see if we can help push the boundaries it almost seems like it's like humans themselves love to push ai to get smarter even though we are also a species who are like petrified about them learning or knowing too much. And yet every time we do these kinds of tests or the CAPTCHA tests or any time they scrape the internet for information, they are getting smarter. It's just, I don't know in what tangible or observable way. It's, it's not my expertise, but it is interesting to think about nonetheless. But if you enjoyed the commentary the uh that anything involved with this of me asking questions if you enjoyed the game itself is in a rough shape i i don't know wh what direction the game will go or how successful the game could be or if it'll go anywhere i have no idea but it was just an interesting test nonetheless and uh, at least the game doesn't lag and it's very optimized because usually when i play unreal engine games holy shit it's not goddamn optimized i'm gonna leave it there i've been playing for over an hour 
I wasn't expecting to play it that long. I don't like playing games for that long because it takes forever to render, but I hope you enjoyed it again. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit the subscribe button, become a full subscriber, hit the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Um.